One of the most amazing escapes that Harry Houdini ever attempted involved a pair of supposedly unpickable handcuffs. They were presented to Houdini as a challenge by a journalist from England's Daily Mirror newspaper. Could an escape from these cuffs finally be the stunt that stumps Houdini? The crowd in London's Hippodrome Theatre is convinced they are about to witness the unthinkable. Harry Houdini's only failed escape. After more than an hour of wrestling with the mirror handcuffs, the master of magic emerges from behind his screen to face his spellbound audience. Free of the supposedly unpickable mirror handcuffs, the crowd goes wild. And the crowd lifted him up and carried him around on their shoulders. They were just so thrilled that he got free. All 30 of the city's dailies report on Houdini's astounding success. But almost immediately, rumors start to circulate that the performance was no more than a masterful act of self-promotion, staged by Harry Houdini himself. And there's evidence that the rumors are true. As it turns out, the mirror handcuffs are not adjustable, suggesting they were custom made to fit Houdini's wrists. And the locksmith, who is said to have designed them, an Englishman named Nathaniel Hart, can't be found. The census records at the time doesn't show any Nathaniel Hart existing. And finally, there are reports that in the days before the mirror challenge, Houdini made several secret visits to Lord Alfred Charles Harmsworth, the publisher and owner of the Daily Mirror. That was his opportunity to get to the cuffs and get a copy of the key made. But how did Houdini sneak the key past the judges? Some people think it was concealed in the pillow he kneeled on or hidden in the glass of water he was given during the performance. But no one can confirm the stories. And at the Houdini Museum in Scranton, Pennsylvania, this replica of the mirror handcuffs is a reminder of one of his most controversial stunts. There's no denying that Harry Houdini was a master of escape, but he was also an expert in another equally important field, self-promotion.